Yo, everybody! Pixels LP again! It's chapter 52, and we are climbing. It is cold. Shiver, <laughs> shiver, burr. <laughs> you know, when I've been really, really cold, stomping my feet doesn't seem to make mm. a damn bit of difference. I don't think he's stomping his feet. He's doing something else. He is um, <laughs> trying to shiver up. keep his heat up. <laughs> He is masturbating. <laughs> He's always he, masturbating. Uh, oh, think if he God. took his cock out, it would freeze. <laughs> just like an icicle. That is the only thing that keeps us warm. The sheer radiating power of his wang. <laughs> Seriously, those testicles all the way retracted. All the way. <laughs> They're in fact somewhere up by his lungs. Yep. Mm. So... This is reminding me of the fact that my typical wardrobe, including during the winter, is a t-shirt and jeans. And sandals. Hard. So, people you often go, you are insane, yes. Um, You're the only student I know who wears sandals in the winter, though. <laughs> Arr, I just did. Err, yes. Err. I don't think he wears sandals <laughs> in the winter, though. Just get him. Look. Look at that. He, his biceps have to breathe, but not his ankles. Yep. But no, so everybody's like, how How are you not freezing? Like, they're Burritos. wearing... Yeah, they're wearing Burritos four layers. Cosmic Cantina, I swear to God. Those things will heat up your upper body. Mostly because you are on fire after you eat them. Yes. They just catch fire inside you. Seriously, if you ever encounter a place called Cosmic Cantina, it will heat up your upper body. Yep. Let's see, there are, how many are there in the area? There's one in Chapel Hill, there's, I think, two in Durham, huh? and I think there's one in Raleigh? Yep. Struth, these places can heat up your body. Or at least produce the illusion of heating up your body to the point where you can wear sandals in the winter. Yep. I just do it naturally. I often enter holes thinking out I will come out other hmm. holes. That are I usually enter holes with much more, you know, perverse uh, reasons. I always mind. check like, first. <laughs> I may not know what other hole I come out of. I don't really care. You just know you're gonna enjoy it. And this is what Final Fantasy taught me. Just enter every hole. Just that, in case. Well that's what that's what tentacles taught me. <gasps> Dirty me. Yes. More masturbating. <laughs> Do you have a flag? No flag, no country, according to the rules I just made up. <laughs> it's the rebels, sir. There he are. What? Evacuate in a moment of triumph? I don't know, oh, wow. but they have. I really hit my computer. The video is not responding. Oh, completely froze on you? I do still need to watch more things with Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee and the gang. Uh, may, might I recommend Doctor Who? Oh, yeah. Because Peter Cushing was in the Doctor Who movies. Oh, yeah. Obviously, I love those movies. But I was just thinking of, like, all the other things that they did. The, in that the old Hammer Horror? Period. Yes. Very much so. Like, obviously, there's the Hounds of the Baskervilles classic. But there were other things as well. Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing. Yes. They were best friends. As long as Peter Cushing was alive. I've got um, a guy that sounds like uh, Christopher Lee playing uh, President Shinra Sr. Nice. I hear his voice. I don't um, know what he sounds Darth like. Tyrannus, run Shinra. Mm -hmm. Okay, how far in the video are you guys? Uh, four, uh, f five minutes.
All right. Oh. You just wanted to freeze again? You stupid piece of shit. <laughs> I can throw yeah, you again, you know? It, it, it makes sense that it would be freezing during the freezing part. Yes. Because <laughs> I kind your, computer, of... your computer is just that cold. No, it's like, it's playing, like, but the picture is at the same spot, but it's playing. Oh, you know? I hate it when that happens. No, I, 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 I have fibromyalgia, and one of the things that makes my fibromyalgia flare is cold. And, like, actually playing through part of this game, this part of this game, can sometimes make me think of cold, which makes my body think that it's experiencing cold, and I have to talk my body after the, out of the hole. <laughs> No, you're just watching a thing, and I know your brain wants to think that you're actually going through this, but no. You have to separate reality from the game. It's okay that it froze. I know what. <sighs> I know this game backwards, so. I know you know it happening. forwards. Backwards and forwards. I know what's happening. Random battle with stalactite. Targus. That's a lot of nuts! <laughs> I just for some reason love the design of the stalactites as enemies. I know they're not the only enemies where it's like you attack them and something happens other than they just die. But there's something about them. Crack. 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 That looks like something else. Or maybe my mind is that dirty. <laughs> <gasps> I love your dirty mind. Thank you. See, it's moving! <laughs> but your dirty mind makes so many things better, Carly. It does. Dirty like, always makes everything better. You know, you two have increased my enjoyment of Farscape, and I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> and a big buff black eye. Oh. These bats are still fuckers, so. Get him. It's about to climax. <laughs> <laughs> and it's climaxing while it's drooping downward. That takes some skill there. It's getting wet. I've seen it happen. Rarely. If I sure know how to deal with a penis. <laughs> Broke it in half. That is mostly what she does to penises that she doesn't like. Rip them off. Beat them until they crack into a million pieces. Let's find more penises. <laughs> Who knew bats were so will protect penises like that? Let's use Alexander. <laughs> So what do you think? Are these icicles growers or showers? Oh, these are these are totally showers. Yeah. Also, I just realized these bats are just trying to give everybody a sonogram to make sure they're not pregnant. Mm. <laughs> Especially Cloud. Yeah. What do you They think Barrett's the daddy. Look Man, I, I cannot see this summon without thinking of Final Fantasy IX anymore, though. Yeah. <laughs> because he's so iconic in it? Yeah. I do like Thank his you. 8 appearance as well, though. 
yeah, eight, 8 was definitely awesome, but it's just that whole 9 was iconic, and yeah. you hit the nail on the head there of the just... 9 was... What I, what I got Alexander should be. You, and, and you were shoved kind of into Alexandria from moment... Yeah. Very early in the game, and just shoved into the whole mythology of the city, and then the city became a summon. It's like, wow... Holy crap, man. And the entire point of seven or of nine was summons are mythology. Mythology yeah. are summons. Mm. And I did love that so much. Although you would think after that that my favorite summon would be Alexander, but it's still Bahamut. Yeah. Like all the forms of Bahamut. I think that was the problem with Final Fantasy XII, there was nothing kind of iconic in there. Like, everything had been yes. sort of set up in the previous game. No... Yeah. Wait, that game has well to hear. <laughs> like, I know in Final Fantasy X, um, Valfor was kind of a very iconic character just because of how he shows up at pivotal moments in the game. And how he's got that, uh, connection to Yuna. Yeah. Very much so. Uh, her first summon, and he does these things to rescue her in times when she needs them most. And then Bahamut has a very serious connection to Titus. Yeah. Of course, they, but, the way summons worked in that game were very interesting because there were lots of summoners, but there was only one summon. So in the battles you had with summoners, you couldn't compete uh, mm -hmm. against their summons. You had to summon a different one. Right. But well, I think that's really interesting, too, of just, like, you join with the faith and receive the summon. Yeah. Uh, Which by was, the like, way... Really... Sorry. Uh, the penis had a wood dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's... But, uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Icicle like, cocky. It falls in the hole at the bottom, isn't it? Icicle cocky. Wait, what did he receive? Last I couldn't elixir. remember. Last elixir. Oh my god, really? That is definitely the, For the some reason, elixir. I was thinking it was the javelin at that end. Where is the javelin in this damn cave? Uh, down below, I think. Uh, well then, totally not worth it, damn. After you get the W item, never mind. Oh, I'm a cheater. I'm a cheater. I do the W item cheat. Everyone does. Yeah. Well, when you're trying to make those Chocobos... Do the thing. Sickless greens, sickless greens, 99. You Race to yeah. Esther. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I was like, wait, I missed it. <laughs> There's another thing up in the corner as well. Yeah. I missed it. Something up there, up those steps. Yep. Nope. Nope. Stay still, I'm gonna heal your ass. Oh yeah! I'm totally the healer chick of this party. Oh yeah! I pity the fool who doesn't come to my clinic. <laughs> yeah, up there. No. Ooh, do it, do it, do it, do it. <gasps> Oh. You and your addictions. I do have them. I'm currently playing through Final Fantasy VII and doing this. Uncle Jonica like max out everyone's everything. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. This is some enhance that sword. Happy times. <sighs> yeah, I pretty much don't use anything between the double growth mm -hmm. weapons and the ultimate weapons. If I have something equipped to them, it's the either double growth or ultimate. Yeah, there's not very many triple growth, and even those are only like one or two spaces. Um... Yep, it's Sid the Apocalypse and the Javelin. Mm -hmm. Or 
sit in. <coughs> and then once I get a, a, a triple, like all three, Master Command, Master Summon, Master mm -hmm. Magic, and then other things like Quadra Magic, W Summon, Double Item, Double Magic, mm -hmm. then I'm like, eh. Whatever. I don't really need to add AP to anything. So is the 32, 33, 34, is that degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit? Has to be Fahrenheit. No, Celsius it would be, because... Uh, uh, room temperature is like 20 something. So that's body temperature. That. Well, if it's body temperature, then I think it it a little high to start out. Because uh, it would make more sense if you were still incredibly cold, but because normal human body temperature in Fahrenheit is 98. And the fact that it's going down so quickly made me think it was Fahrenheit, and you're just basically trying to keep um, desperately cold. Do you can get that really high up? If you do that for a while. To the point where it would actually be kind of... Well, granted, we are discussing the vagaries of uh, realism with an uh, undefined, um, you know, degree type in a not entirely the most well-programmed video game. As you can... There's a lot of overflow errors in this game you can exploit. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else ever have any problem with this fight? <laughs> Not particularly. Um, I think the, the whenever you kill him, he always has a last uh, attack. attack. Yeah. yeah. So I actually died. I wasn't really looking at my health, so. And you would always think that the right one is fire, so use ice on that and uh, fire on the one on the left, yeah. but the other way around. is on fire. The boxing gloves? Yeah. Rocket punch or something? Yeah. I don't uh, is that a double? Um, mm, I think it's be? technically is it's either his double or his joke weapon, I'm not entirely sure. Because the joke weapons are very powerful but they don't have slots. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would have anything that has no slots on it. Yeah, but it's probably the rocket punch. It's not the Yoshiyuki that's one of those, right? It's the nail bat? Yeah, the nail bat is his uh, joke. Alright, I remember that. Um, I just couldn't remember about the Yoshiyuki, because all I remember Yoshi about Yoshiyuki... Yoshiyuki is a... the more... Uh, if it's your enemies are dead, you power up because it is a... Holding the it's a reference to a um, warrior who held the line uh, to the end. Oh, nice! I love those cultural references in weaponry and monsters and yeah, anything. Because I learn more about other cultures. I know more about other cultures thanks to Final Fantasy games than <laughs> yeah. I should really admit. I love the set will reveal. Crawl, man, crawl. 
You know, that is what uh, the Uncharted series would look like if they were made in the 90s. <laughs> Are we about to go down the cliff and have those moments? Those little moments. And there's the Aurora. Yeah. Ooh. And the completely northern. impossible uh, weather pattern. Yay! <laughs> yep. And the Mako Geyser. Yes. I, Mako, am flowing mm -hmm. forth through the ground. And here's the music and you're going to be hearing awesome throughout months. the rest of the game. Yep. Dude. <laughs> 